Hi there, I'm John Slock. So while browsing the interwebs lately, I've noticed something. My internet speed sucks. It really sucks. So my roommates and I decided to upgrade our internet to a higher speed. And it still sucks. Why? That's what I'm going to try and explain in this video. I'm going to talk about how cable companies have an ice cold grip on our bandwidth speeds. I'll talk about some alternatives and how they could work. Finally, I'll offer some suggestions for you, the viewer. Susan Crawford, an expert on internet law and law professor, has some answers on why our internet speeds suck. In an interview with Bill Moyers, she explains that cable companies are screwing us internet users because they can. They see internet as a luxury instead of the utility it has become in this day and age. They've got agreements with each other about what cities they will provide service to. Comcast and Time Warner, the two largest cable companies in the U.S., do not compete against each other. They divvied up territories almost 20 years ago and have never invaded each other's space. And now, these companies want to merge, effectively creating a monopoly on cable connections. Ookla is known for their internet speed test and compiles data from these tests around the world. The U.S. is number 26 out of about 200 countries when it comes to world broadband speeds in UCLA's net index, with an average speed of about 32 megabits per second. The top three are Hong Kong, Singapore, and South Korea, and they average speeds upwards of 85 megabits per second. It's pretty embarrassing how behind the U.S. has become for internet speeds. I mean, we invented the internet. So, cable is our problem. What's our solution? Fiber optics. Fiber optic lines are essentially little glass rods bundled together that transfer light. Fiber optic lines are cheaper, lighter, safer, and a whole lot faster than copper wired cable lines we have now. Companies could offer us speeds that are unheard of in this country, but it's cheaper for them to upgrade speed on a cable line than to lay a high speed fiber optic line. They have these crappy cable lines laid and then they lobby deals with local governments to make it near impossible for competing companies to lay fiber optic lines. Google has been trying to create fiber networks in cities around the U.S., but is facing fierce opposition from the local cable companies in these cities. Susan Crawford put it well, cable companies are in the business of harvesting profit. In Hong Kong, a fiber line with a 1000 megabit per second or 1 gigabit connection goes for 40 to 50 bucks a month. In South Korea, it's around 30 bucks a month. At my house, for 50 bucks a month, I get a 12 megabit per second connection on a good day when nobody else is home to use our service. Same price, 83 times slower. That's ridiculous. So what can you do? If you live in the Madison area, you could switch internet service providers. Comcast and Time Warner are not available around here, but they would offer you a 50 to 100 megabit per second connection for 50 to 65 bucks a month. Charter, the local cable company, will sell you a 60 megabit per second connection for 40 bucks a month. The fastest service from AT&T is 24 megabits per second for 55 bucks a month, and TDS Telecom offers the same speed for the same price. Compared to Hong Kong and South Korea, we're still cavemen when it comes to internet. Now, you could move to China or South Korea, but for many of us, that's not feasible. What we can do is encourage our local government to bring in fiber optic lines. This has worked in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where they have their own fiber optic network due to the action and persistence of their mayor. Google Fiber has also been making strides to offer 1 gigabit connections in a few cities around the country. But this is still small scale, and it could be a very long time before Madison sees something like that. So what can you do right now? Well, you can comment on the FCC website and tell them you don't want Time Warner and Comcast, as well as other large companies, to merge essentially forming monopolies that mean bad things for us internet users. Thanks a lot for listening, everyone, and happy lurking.